Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how I got rid of this noise. Hey, Biden says COVID's going to be over May 11th, and then he cut to his crowd. And if you haven't seen this video, I tweeted it out at Clay Travis. We'll put it up on Clay and Buck as well. Entire crowd of woke. As you can see, uh, I'm getting that hum. And this is primarily on the uh, medium wave broadcast band, starting about um, 700 kilohertz, all the way up to the, the uh, almost at another top of the band, about, I, I think about 1200 or so. It's just constant humming. Really annoying. Yeah, it's un almost unlistenable. Been like this for many, uh, quite a few months. I tried several sources. Okay. Again, here one more time. Different mask studies. This is the peer-reviewed Cochrane database of system. There you go. Let's go down to the basement. So let me show you down here too. All right. Because you can hear, it's a very insensitive, annoying hum. Difficult question to answer. Some do, some don't. You still hear it. Some have such a Sometimes it's a little more than before, but it is so. Uh, let's go down to seven ten. Yeah, so you see, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I'll show you something. It's what I found out. That's my switch. This is my disco. Coming from outside, disco from the roof. Listen to this. Take, take 10 deep breaths. And I know it sounds yeah, very kind of like I'm sitting here hitting a bunch of wind chimes. Uh, no, no, it's science. It actually is gone. Right? And they just, I mean, barely. Pretend uh, that masking up never had any. Oh, let me know what this is. You can hear it. It's pretty much gone. Very uncomfortable. It raises anxiety right? levels. It is so this is bringing in some noise. In slow motion for anybody who realizes how stupid it is. And, you know, they also just forgot. So when I saw this disco uh, a few years back, uh, one thing I did not do is I never grounded the antenna. I never grounded the, the mass. You know, the antenna center grounded it. Um, of course, I, I was unaware of this hum until I set up my shack. Okay? Okay, so remember, this is my Anfed, and this is my disco. And by accident, I was, you know, I was trying to figure out, you know, uh, I was just moving some cables around. And let me put back the volume. Shouting who got, you know, the Daily Mail went after her. This is on the Clay and Buck feed. We did a deep dive podcast. There was a yeah, deal was. of pieces on her because she was a mass. You see the hum? Yeah, it. I see it. It was a British celebrity, but was like, I think this stuff is dumb. She was totally, okay. totally right. But even she said. And if I finagle it around, I could leave it like, I could kind of leave it like that. But why would I want to do that if I want to listen to my uh, scanner? So I figured out a solution. And I had to take around with a few things. Okay, I'm talking over this. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is... Uh, <laughs> um, I tried several different ways. One, I have this wire coming from outside. And this wire right here, and this is coming from outside. This is a copper wire. This is a speaker wire that's coming from outside. This is connected to outside to a cold water pipe. There's a ground block outside by where the uh, my cable modem uh, connection coming in, and also my fiber optic. And there is a, a ground block there for a coax cable. Um, I have this connected to there. Uh, you know, so it is, and that's grounded to a cold water pipe. Now, when I clip that on there and I clip it, it seems to minimize the hum. But not like the way I want it to. 
So my second, that was this is my first option. I tried it, it minimized it pretty good, but not the way I'm going to show you. Okay, so what I did is basically, uh, you know, uh, alligator clip this here, then I alligator clip that there to the screw because I it's this is alligator too small to put around the. Uh, I did it with the screw and it got rid of. Got rid of most of it, and you know that that. And if I didn't have, if I didn't find any other way, that would be pretty good. But surprisingly, I found a better way. Um, I thought about doing the other way, which is down there. You see that copper pipe down there? That's a radiator. Radiator is a copper pipe. I could have also clipped it to that, and I probably would have got a uh, decent ground, but. How I found out was, um, if you look behind there, on the power strip, you see the power strip? These are all coax connectors. It's 75 ohm. Uh, they're brass looking. It's hooked up to this. Uh, what they call this is a power conditioner. It's a power strip, but it's also called a power conditioner surge protector. And I'm going to show you what I did. But the first thing is first, let's hook the wire back. In New York City, uh, and maybe as a part of, of New York course, City, you're going to hear the humming. Let me hook up the you disc going back. Filmed, uh, live. That would be a cool thing to do, right? Let's I, hook I that back up. If I were in line, and I would think I would be in front. And, and I'm bear with me. Anyway, but okay. Do these people really not recognize how ridiculous it is that they're putting masks on same thing in the view audience this is what i made so conditioned to one end is a or in the back of their minds are they like i'll get a clip ridiculous the other thing. end is you this know, guy uh, right know, here were, okay there were social this guy. kind of helper people who out there because i live right and right i'm going to clip this i'll get a clip Right there. I mean, so, that's, that's I'll show you one. Let me clip it from there. Um, you There's four coax connectors there. there I'm going to put the other clip there. I'll show you. So inside, you can see right there. Quarters, and listen to this. I mean, this is going to touch that screw and. Uh, the movie, I mean, the show Succession. Yeah, the humming is gone, right? Well done, it's all gone. Dark for sure, but very well done for what yeah, it's gone. Is. Uh, you go to 77 ABC. Noisy, but Remember the 77. We're going to go up the band. 77. Very pronounced. And watch this. Touching it. You see that? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this screw. Okay, I'm gonna take out this screw. Okay, I'm doing it without. I'm gonna put the screw in here. Now we're gonna screw that in there. Are you ready? I mean, Rome ready for Valentine's Day? Some say it's the sexiest <laughs> day of the year. And well, this is a funny part. When you try to do this on the camera, that's all great. Uh, suddenly you forget how to screw this thing in. More physical, too. Because a okay. strong sex life can deepen your feelings of intimacy with yeah, your so partner. Let me fix it up and put it nice and neat. So if you're prepping for Valentine's Day, right now is the perfect time to check out Roman. Roman has genuine medication. And there you go. And maintain a Just like that, the hum is gone. Treat wipes that help you last four times longer okay. in bed. Roman has testosterone testing and treatment. Uh, Treating a little testosterone wire can help revive your an, sex uh, drive. And better yet, with Roman, what do you call this? everything uh, is online. Like eyelid. There are no waiting rooms and no hassle. So I got that screw, Roman and then on the other hand, right I clipped it onto my power conditioner. For better sex this 
and these are 75 ohm connectors. Let me try to get another angle in this so you can see. Okay, let me move this radio out the way. Get a better view on that. Okay, that's all I did. Okay. Get rid of that. Okay. And now the hump is gone. Five employer to post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Try ZipRecruiter. The hum is gone. Check it out. Keep your phone and keep your phone number. And switching just takes about 10 minutes. So there about you 10 go. minutes, you're going to save hundreds of dollars and get better customer service. So there you go. No more humming. I'm at the broadcast ban. It's working well. It's a simple fix. Uh, you may have to use a, like in my case, I connected to the power strip because it had the grounded, that power strip is hooked up to a grounded outlet, and those four 75 con connectors are grounded, so I just clipped on the alligator clip on that end. If you don't have that, obviously, you can try to alligator clip that to a cold water pipe. Or, in, in what I showed you earlier, the copper pipe that's going into the uh, radiator. Of course, the, the, the alligator cable is going to get warm because of that. I would not recommend that. But try something, anything. And there you go. If you need to rewind the video, watch that part where I unscrew the switch. And of course, if you don't have a switch, you could just put a screw into a piece of wood or something and put the eyelet there, see if that works. And try, experiment, try different things. I found this out by accident because I was removing one wire and I removed that wire and all suddenly, I, when I removed the disc on wire, um, the noise was gone. I'm like, okay, so this is bringing in the hum. And apparently since my disc is in the front of my house, it's probably picking up the noise from outside and bringing it into the house and it's cross, uh, what's the word cross? Not contaminating, what is it? Anyways, cross, is is signals crossing over to the HF portion, and especially the medium wave band. So now, yeah, and now my broadcast band is good. No humming, no nothing. I'm pretty good with that, all right? And I'll do a follow-up video soon on that, but that's one way I tackled that issue. You know, like I said, you know, find a place where you can ground it. In my case, I had to ground that switch because the noise is coming from the end, I mean, from the disco into that switch. And what I did is I just grounded that switch to a nearby power conditioner, and it works. Got rid of the hum. Proof is in the pudding. You heard it right there. So thank you for watching. If you like the video? Give it a thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.